Hey guys and welcome back to another Trove video. So someone requested over on my Twitch channel, they requested a guide on the Geode Hub because it is super confusing if you've never been to the Geode Hub before. Everything is everywhere and it's very vertical so it's very hard to see where things are. So today that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making a guide on the hub as well as basically everything you can do in the hub. I'm going to go over every table on all that stuff as quickly as possible to avoid wasting your guys time as much as possible if you guys want to though you can check me out over at twitch like i mentioned you guys can ask me questions there i play trove all the time we also play other games all the time so make sure to check out my twitch channel you can find it in the description below or just search for me underrated 54 on google and you'll find my twitch channel there but starting out at the very very top we're gonna work our way from the top down to the bottom i think that'd be the easiest way to explain things so starting from the very top we have the observatory area where it's basically nothing really exciting is up here you have the blue portal which the blue portal takes you back to the center of the hub that is where you will be when you first enter the geode area which you can get to through the trovian atlas by the way um, I didn't show that off, I should have, but you just get here through the Trovian Atlas. It is the new portal world at the bottom of the map. It looks like a kind of like a reddish um, type of area and you know, you guys know where Geode is. But you got the blue portal that takes you back down to the center and then you have a portal to the hub to go back to the main hub. And that is it for this floor, so let's go one floor down. Alright, so one more floor down. This is still part of the observation deck, so there is absolutely nothing on this floor. I just wanted to make sure to point that out so people understand that I am going to go two floors down, not just one floor, because the next floor down is this observation deck, which is basically an open version of the top, top floor. So let's go another floor down. Alright, so now we are on the third from the top floor, or just two floors down from from the very 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 top you can go and this is the Sunseeker square you can actually look at these little um these little signs and they will tell you basically where things are if you guys do get lost and you don't want to refer back to this video again i'm going to go over all the tables that's the more important part of this video but you can see to the east is the bomber royale Bla uh, blast stadium blast stadium <laughs> uh to the west is the reliquary research center up is the observation deck and down is the crafter commons these things are very 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 helpful if you guys are getting lost so make sure you do that so let's first head east we're going to go east to the Bomber Royale Blast Stadium so I can go over everything there. So this is where you can find the new Bomber Royale portal or you can just click Control B and go straight there as well. Or you can even find this in the hub in the previous PvP area in the main hub. It is now the Bomber Royale area. Um, so this is just another way to enter but you can always just press Control B wherever you are in the game and get there but this is where you do go to spend your bomb coins you can see they have a bunch of bomber royale rewards including things you can put into your clubs as well as the old pvp items as well make sure that you guys understand this is actually how you get the pvp rewards now is through bomber royale the previous pvp system i believe is only in clubs that have the maps already built you cannot get to the pvp area anymore it is now fully bomber royale at least for now they might include another portal later but this is how you get all the old pvp rewards the new bomber royale rewards as well as one of the new dragons cost 300 bomber royale coins or the twin plague dragon egg which is an awesome looking dragon by the way <laughs> but moving on we are now on the east side of the same floor it is still the same sunseeker square floor we are just now on the east side and here is the reliquary area where you can get your reliquaries um, completed. This is where you get new reliquaries and this is where you also pick up a adventure. So let's go from left to right. This is the merchant. This is where you actually pick up your reliquaries. I have a hard time saying that but um, you guys should have visited this if you are following the tutorial. Uh, in the top right, I highly, highly, highly recommend everyone visit the tutorial in the top right and complete it. That way you guys understand the basics of Geode. But this is where you pick up all of your new reliquaries that you will be spending your crystals on. So you can open up more. This is the center table, the reliquary revealer, where you can input your reliquaries. Which they will then go through like a mobile type mini game, And you have to wait the hours for them to open as you can see i have one open and i got three metamatter you unlock the next two 
uh, later on when you upgrade your Christology, which is the new profession we will be going over in a little bit. But that's how you unlock the new sections of the Revealer. If you guys were wondering when you unlock these, you unlock these way later once you reach tier 5. And then you also have this last guy, which collect organics from Geode Caves. Now, he will always give you an organic or a collect organics from Geode Caves mission or adventure. And this is how you can get extra adventures uh, for the Geode area. And if you press I to go to your adventure window, there's a new Geode section, which you get, uh, which you can see all of your Geode adventures and they all re reward you with lesser crystal caches. It's just an extra way to get more crystal caches and you should always pick up whenever they are completed more of these adventures because it is just free caches for things you will already be doing or just passively doing in the geode caves so now we're going to go down one more floor and i will meet you guys in the center all right so now we are at the crafters commons i know it's really hard to see the sign behind my sigil but we're at the crafters commons this is the spot you will appear the second you enter the geode hub this is the main floor and this has the most stuff on it so as you can see to the east is the companion ranch to the west is the christology center up is sunseeker square down is the mining facility there is also things to the uh south not the north <laughs> the south which we'll be visiting as well but here in the center you have the town hub portal once again you have this at the very top as well that just takes you back to the main hub you have the blue transit portal which takes you all the way to the top which we have already gone over and then we also have the green transit portal which will take you all the way to the bottom of the floor of the hub which we will go over once we get down all the way to the bottom that'll be the last thing we talk about but this is the main entrance this is where you can go straight to the top straight to the bottom or you can take the corners uh, up and down and stuff like that but let's first head east to the east is the companion ranch and going from left to right once again we will go to the companion trainer this is where you can put your uh, companions in and level them up and stuff like that i actually haven't got to the companion system yet because i haven't done a lot of geode but uh, eventually you will get companions which you can then throw into the trainer you also have the egg incubator which is how you hatch your eggs for more companions you find the eggs if you ever see the signs in the caves you know if you're in one of the geode caves you see the signs at the kind of entrances where it shows an arrow pointing up to a black circle that means it has a an egg in there from what i believe that's what i've been told streaming you know ge a bunch of geode content they have told me that that is where either it can be a dead end or that's where you find eggs so that is where you guys will go and find your eggs is if you pay attention to these signs and then also you have this guy right here which will have you do adventures once again to care for cave critters he will always have the care for cave critters as far as i'm aware and that is just once again another adventure that you should always be picking up whenever you have them completed and yeah that is uh also there should be this thing right here i almost forgot this the forever home finder uh this is where you can go to deconstruct geode specific things like things you can craft and stuff like the builders boxes never deconstruct these by the way never deconstruct these as of uh, as of yet no research has uh, i've done no research to know what is worth deconstructing and what isn't yet i'll have that later on if it is a subject that i need to go over but definitely definitely don't deconstruct your builders boxes um but yeah, this is where you will go to deconstruct that kind of stuff. So let us now go west. So going west is the Christology Center once again. This is the center floor. If you start from the center, you have the Christology Workbench, which is where you will be going to craft a lot of stuff for Geode. You guys should already be familiar with this bench if you guys have been doing any Geode at all. Uh, this is where you go to treat your critters and stuff like that, make more meta matter and all that good stuff. And this is the new profession, Christology, which like I said, once you get to the end, the tier five of the level 250 Geode Mancer, that's when you can get the space expanders to start unlocking space in all of the uh, tables that we've been going over so far, like the companion or the egg incubator and the reliquary revealer those both take the space expanders you can see in the tooltip right there uh, so this is where you're going to be going to do a lot of geode crafting as well as a lot of the new profession and then next up next to him is the uh collect inorganic geode uh adventure so this is where you go to collect your third adventure for geode content um i believe that is all of them so what you do once again just collect inorganics actually inorganics this time 
which is basically like the ores and stuff, things that aren't living creatures. Um, so like I said, pick up all of your adventures, make sure you're doing that. And then you also have finally the Geodian workbench, which is where you go to craft all of the things you could put into your clubs. So it's, you know, it's just one of those workbenches for your clubs. So this is where you're going to go if you are into that kind of thing. And that is it for the west side. So now let's go down to the south. Now coming down to the south side, once again, the center floor, we are still in the main area of the Geode Hub. Here is kind of like the community area. This is where you can go to refill your flask, visit the community chest, do your barber shop, and trade items in the Geode Hub. I was actually very confused. I didn't know there was a trading post here when I played on the PTS. So it is kind of nice to know that there is this area down south to do all the kind of hub type stuff that you would need to kind of leave if you didn't know about it. If you didn't know about this stuff, you'd probably be leaving to the main hub, which is what I was doing, which would be a waste of time because that's more loading screens. So there you go. This is the south area. This is the community area. And I will meet you guys down this time. South means south, but this time we're going actually down a floor. So I'll meet you guys down one floor. So we are now down one floor. This is the second to last floor from the bottom. And as you can see, this is the mining facility floor. You have the orange portal, which will take you to the sunken sun vault, the green portal to the verdant veins, the purple portal to the moon glow grotto, and then up is the crafter's commons. Down is the very bottom of the floor, so it doesn't say that there is anything down, but we will still go down there just because there is a little bit of stuff down there. Uh, but yeah, you guys, once again, should be familiar with these portals. I don't need to be going over these portals. These are the main geode caves that you go to. This is one of the main floors. However, there are a couple of things on this floor. This is where you will find your uh, module forge, which once again is where you put in your modules to upgrade just like you did with the companion trainer. Um, so you just throw in like gas and then you can see these are all the upgrades you can get for your gas. And these are the materials required for the next level. So, you know, you just throw all your things in here. As you can see, I can upgrade my Omni tool. I can upgrade my climbing claw. I can upgrade all this stuff because I, I have collected a lot of materials, but I haven't really touched anything in terms of leveling up. So this is where you go to level everything up. And then next to the uh, forge is the workbench for your modules. And this is where you're going to go to craft new modules. Once again, though, you will be taught, uh, taught not told, uh, you'll be taught how to uh, craft all of these and when to craft all of these if you just follow the tutorial or geode. So just follow the tutorial and everything should be explained to you. Um, but if not, this video is also here. And that is actually it for this floor. Everything else around doesn't have anything onto it. So let's go down to the base floor of the hub, the last floor. Now thinking about it, to get to the bottom floor, you actually, once again, have to either take the green transit portal found in the center of the hub, or you just got to kind of jump off. There's no other way down. You just have to kind of jump off to get down here. And uh, yeah, this is the base of the hub. There's nothing really down here. If you guys have seen my five tips for new players video uh, that I made in preparation for Geode before Geode actually came out, this is where I recorded that little intro because it looks actually amazing down here. I like kind of like the psychedelic colors and all the mushrooms and stuff down here. It looks amazing down here. But this is the bottom. There's nothing down here besides actually that green transit portal to get back up. There are a couple NPCs, but they don't have anything to offer down here. So this is why there's that green transit portal. Just in case you fall off or decide to kind of wander down here, you just take the portal back up to the center and that is it. That is actually all of the hub. I know this was kind of a longer uh, tutorial slash guide video. I wanted to do it live. That way I can explain things as I go through them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button plus the bell next to it so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. If you would like to further support the channel, make sure to check out my Humble Bundle affiliate links in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.